Hi guys, so today is a very hot day today. So I want a dessert. I also want something very simple, nothing to bake. So today I'm gonna to make a cream cheese cupcake. Um, cream cheese cupcake. So I'm going to very simple. Um, the filling's gonna be um, you know, dairy free, and the crust is gonna be a. I'm gonna use a grain free crust. So this is what I have. I have cream cheese. There for you, I have um the no sour cream cream cheese the butter, then for my egg I'm gonna use um sea moss gel because I'm not gonna bake it. Then I have my have my my vanilla extract and um vegetable glycerin. I've been doing this has been um in here since January. So yeah, flavor is really good. So then my salt I'm gonna have some um. Lemon lime in there. I don't have a recipe, so just eyeball it. Then I'm gonna put some, squeeze some lemon and put in there. So continue watching. If you have like a hand mixer, it's, it's perfect for this recipe. So I have a standard, I have a um, standard mixer. So I'm gonna use this here. It's bigger than a hand mixer, but I am going to. It's all I have right now, so I'm gonna use this here. So what I'm gonna do first? Can I find my spatula? I'm gonna take these out. So you need 16 ounces of um. Cream cheese in here. Somebody open it up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put these in here. Then I'm gonna, you know, whip it, make it nice and creamy, and open the other one too. And these are dairy-free um, cream cheese. So I'm gonna just put this in here. So continue watching. Okay, so I'm gonna um, whip this until it's soft. So with the salmon mix, you have to stop it. And then with a spatula, I can't find a spatula, so I'm gonna use a spoon. You have to scrape it down just to make sure everything is incorporated so, so you want it to be soft um, evenly. So I'm going to scrape this down and then start it again. So continue watching. At this time, it's not, the, um, the cream cheese is nice and soft. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some sugar to it. So my sugar is going to be the filling of this grain-free cookies. It's crazy, right? But I don't want um, a bamong food sugar, but I'm going to add this to it. So no sweetener to it for me. So... I'm gonna use the cookies, right? So why not use the filling for my sugar? And this is like I said, it's um it's low carb as well. So I'm gonna add these to my cream cheese. So I'm gonna take this out. Like I said, I'm gonna use the cookie for my um for my crust. So continue watching. I've done this before, you know. I start the video, but I just want to show you this is what I'm gonna do for the sugar. So just, just take it out and just put drop them in here. And that's it. I guess I'm gonna use these cookies for my, for the crust, so that's it. So, continue watching. Okay, so I just finished adding all the filling to the, to the cream cheese. That would be your sugar right there. So, at this time I'm gonna add everything else. I'm gonna put some butter in there. Around one fourth cup. Fill in one fourth cup, yep. Butter. Then I'm gonna put some sour cream in there. If you have, if you have um, plain Greek yogurt, you can put in there. Plain Greek yogurt. So I'm gonna put like around half a cup of sour cream in there. Okay, next I'm gonna add some the lemon rind, lemon zest to it. I'm gonna cut the lemon, put it in there. Then I'm gonna add some for my eggs. You can put two eggs. I'm gonna put some sea moss gel in there. Okay, so I'm gonna add some lemon juice to it. You can put like a teaspoon. I like a lot of lemon in mine. And then I am going to add the sea moss gel. The reason I'm adding the sea moss gel because I'm not gonna bake it. I'm going to whip it up and put it in the fridge to um, settle. Then I'm gonna do the for the crust, but I'm not baking it. If I was going to bake it, I would add like flaxseed gel, do you know, for the eggs, or you could add two eggs to this if you're just going to bake it. So I'm going to do this here, 
Next, I'm gonna do the, put my vanilla in there, so continue watching. My vanilla, homemade vanilla. Smell really good. Mmm, flavor. Really good. So I'm gonna whip everything up again in here, so continue watching, I'll mix again. stop and scrape it down so this is finished so what i'm going to do i am going to take it down next i am going to let me see plug it out number one yeah take it out from here take this out yep it's like this i'm gonna put it in the fridge it smells really good put it in the fridge like i said you can add sugar to it you could, I just sweeten it to it, but I just use the filling. To be honest with you, my children's gonna be like, Mommy, this stuff's not sweet enough. Okay, so, yeah, <laughs> you could sprinkle some sugar on there. But anyway, it's good because the filling the, from the cookies, you know, blend that in there really good. If you, but if you have like a, like a um, hand mixer, be much, much better. This right there. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do, you can put this in the food processor, but I'm just going to crush it up. Crush this up. So I'll continue watching. Back. So I have my husband try it. I said, how about you think? He said, according to his taste bud, it needs some sugar. So this is what I have. I have this um, sugar replacement here and it's powdered sugar. So I'm going to put some of this in there. So let's see. Um... Let me get this open. I'm putting one third, one third cup of the powdered sugar in this. I'm gonna whip it together in there and see what happens. Let me try it again. I'll be right back. So I'll continue watching. Okay, so husband said just right. He said just right. So yeah, just try right, so. Okay, if you don't want, if you don't want to do my crazy idea to put the filling in there, I didn't want to waste the filling. You can um, just add one cup of powdered sugar. How, you know, start off with half a cup first and see how you like. You know, then gradually work your way up. But this is good. Have we said just right? I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I'm gonna numb. Next, I'm gonna do the the crust. So yeah, continue watching. I'm gonna use a plastic bag. Like I said, I can't be bothered right now with the food processor. I put it in here. Do the old fashioned way. You just get a roller, rolling pin, put it out. You just crush it up. That's it right there. Rolling pin. Yep, that's it. That's it. So we finish crush this up. And I get back to you. So continue watching. Okay, so I finished grinding so um you know beat this up like beat badly <laughs> but you know if you don't have the um the grain free cooker you could use whatever um like you could graham cracker crust you could use that use a graham cracker and put it in the um if you have a vitamix i just do the, in the same method that i did but you know i'm doing as much um low carb as possible and grain free as possible so what i have you can do this too you could do it two ways you can do um, minis, or you can do, if you got a mini tin, you could do the mini. But I have a regular um, muffin tin. So I'm just gonna lay, put these inside here. I got, this is 12 all together. So I'm gonna put these inside here and fill the cup up. So let me do these here, so continue watching. I did six, did six, so that we can all get each of us get one of it. So what I'm gonna do at this time, I'm gonna put this at the crumb at the bottom right here. And you could put whatever, <coughs> um, however much you want in there. Just gonna, like this. So let me finish, um, fill these up. I'll be right back. I mean, not fill up, just let me put these in here. 
I'll be right back. Okay, if you was gonna bake these, you, you'd um, I'd like some butter to it just to keep it together. But I'm gonna put the filling in there now, so you can fill it up as much all the way to the top, and I'm gonna sprinkle some more on top, some more crumbs on top. So let me fill these up and be right back. So continue watching. Oh, sorry about okay, that. Okay, so I've got all, nine all together. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprinkle some more of the crumb on top of it. So, you can sprinkle as much as you want or as little as you want to. But just like that. It's delicious. Oh, my goodness. I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Let it set some more. And uh, show you what it looks like. So yes, this is something. Summertime is hot. You know, you don't feel like baking anything. You know, make yourself some of this um cheese, cheese um cake um cheese cheese <laughs> cream cheese. Yeah, get it together, by cream cheese cupcake. Okay, guys. So let me. I'm gonna show it to you. Um, I'm gonna take it out. So continue watching. As you can see, it's only six left, midnight, and so putting the, the pan to set. So this is, guys, um, my daughter says, "Mom, this is very good." Baba says it's good. Sammy says good. So give it a try. Um, no bake, cream cheese cupcakes. So you have it. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.